What's up, everybody? And you know, the Cubs just won the World Series. Congratulations Woo! to the Chicago Cubs. And go, Cubs, go. Do you guys think it is the biggest victory for the city of Chicago in championship history? They, they, they did have the biggest rally with, they said, 5 million people downtown. Estimated at 5 Estimated. million people. Estimated. I mean, do, how do you estimate that? Do, do they like they, fly a fucking helicopter above and they're like, I think this is about 5 million people. No, actually I heard what they do is they take like a 10 by 10 square uh, and then count those 10 people or that 10 by 10, like, like f- uh, square footage. And then they figure out how many people are there and then multiply it by roughly well, how much. Well, this is Chicago. There's some <laughs> big people. <here. laughs> but I, I definitely think, I don't know if it's trumped all like the bulls or the bears, but it, it's, Definitely pretty high on the scale of best championships to come to Chicago. I don't think it beats the Chicago Bulls, the 90s Bulls, by any means necessary. I think it does defeat the Blackhawks, you know, and I think it – I'm a White Sox fan, but I think it defeats the Chicago White Sox. But It depends, uh, yeah. and it, it depends, and only time will tell. True. You know, if, if if in ten years people are like, man, t- the 2016 Chicago Cubs, you know, yeah, Anthony they, Rizzo, yeah, Chris yeah. Bryant, yeah, they just yeah. know like the whole lineup, yeah, you know, just like the uh, '96 Bulls, yeah. like you know, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Michael Jordan, Tony Kukoc, Luke Longley, I mean, Ron Harper, like you know, you know, those You're are those house, names. those are household names, like they basically made basketball, or Michael Jordan made basketball into like a world sport. I think it's going to – the Cubs a championship is going to stick around in um, – like we're going to remember the names like you just said with the Bulls. I really think that's not going to change. Why? The Cubs haven't won a World Series in 108 years. So now these Cub fans, this is one to remember, especially for the fans that have been waiting those 60, 70 years, 80 years to see the Cubs win a World <laughs> Series. Yeah, I mean, there's pretty. I don't think there's anybody alive that's seen them <laughs> win the one in 1908. The last time the Cubs won a World Series, Al Capone was nine years old. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah nine was, years old. So that, I mean, that's how long it's been. So that's why I think this one's going to matter. But if the Cubs win again next year, because they're saying that they could become a yeah, dynasty, they a pretty young team. If they can win next year. Does this the one next year be? Is that one more meaningful, or is this one more meaningful? What do you guys think? I think it would definitely be this one. Yeah, just absolutely. because this broke like the this broke their their losing streak. Or... So do you think the curse of the goat is done too? Yeah, I think all those curses and everything. I don't, I'm not really. I'm not crazy. really superstitious. Yeah, but I think now there's no excuses if they lose. Say, if, for instance, they lose next year, or they get knocked out, or they have a bad year. You can't blame it on. Bartman or a goat or anything else like they you know they, they have a bad up. year they yeah. had a bad year like I don't think you could it, it really bothered me especially because FS1 Fox Sports they did a that's whole your, that's your home station bro that's my home station <laughs> right here right now <laughs> they did a full segment full 20 minute segment on Steve Bartman yeah full yeah, segment. I, was, I, was, I was reading some I didn't see any segments but it was saying like um the Cubs fans welcomed Steve Bartman with, with open arms. The Cubs now organization, I think, welcomed him to the rally. Didn't that dude have yeah. to, like, move to a they, Yeah, country? they said, like, he was in, like, witness protection. <laughs> was he but, really? Yeah, that's what yeah, I heard. I but then I also heard rumors that he goes to Cubs games every so often still. I, I, I wonder I, if he sits in those bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people are saying, that he should uh, throw out a first pitch. They should invite him to throw out a first pitch. That would be cool. I think he deserves to throw out the first pitch after the Cubs fans, how bad they treated him. Back in so, 2003. So just just thinking back on it now, now, um, will this be one of the most historic moments in Chicago baseball history? So then again, it, it goes back to the city being divided as far as yeah, having I, two teams. See, so Drew, so that is another thing see, to factor into. And then it everybody as well. says the '85 Bears are like the Chicago's team because everybody gets behind football. Yeah. No matter, yep. like you know every and right now that's the popular sport in America right now is football. But this, the MLB, so they're saying the Chicago Cubs put baseball back on the map for the city of Chicago. Do you think it put baseball back on the map for the the whole country, like for people to start watching baseball games, especially that game seven well, against the Indians? So they, had a, they had a ton of ratings. Like I said, we'll have to see how like the beginning of next year starts. I mean, do they have a huge following, or does that die off in a couple of months? So I, I, I was talking with someone about it, and I was saying um, as an outsider, you know, not, not – um, from Chicago? No, no. Oh. I'm saying, like, not a Cubs fan. 
mm-hmm. and does don't really care about Cleveland whatsoever, uh, any other sports teams. Um, <laughs> that it was not really. Uh, it was a really exciting game. But if yeah. I if I was like a, a Cubs fan or uh, you know, if if I was a Cubs or Indians fan, I would be like. You know, the, on the edge of your seat the whole time. That's oh, not yeah. really a good game, like especially not for the Chicago Cubs. And I'm not discrediting them at all. Like they yeah. came back and whatever, but for you to be up that much and then just kind of let the lead go, uh-huh. and that shit happens. It's baseball; it's unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, any sport's kind of the yeah. same way. I I think we're gonna have to see what happens next year, especially. There was a lot of fans, like myself as a White Sox fan, and you know, even and you're you wearing White... you're wearing a Cubs hat right now. So <laughs> and even, but even you as a White Sox, I grew fan. up a White Sox fan. I I don't really particularly stay involved with baseball over the years. But we sat there and we rooted for oh, yeah. the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, now, do we? One. Now, I... next year, are you a Cubs or are you a Sox fan? By the way, uh, I I like both of them, but I'll lean a little bit more towards the Sox. His grandpa played for the Sox, dude. <laughs> Almost. True so I, I believe it. <laughs> So next year, do you go back to I am a diehard blood Sox fan, Adam, or do you? So do I just just like okay, I explain to people like this when it comes to um, football, I'm a player fan just because oh, the only thing that got the only thing yeah. that got me into football was fantasy football. True. I should be completely honest. Yeah, uh, that's the only thing that made me engage and learn all the players and learn yeah. everything. You know, and this is like you know six seven years ago, five six seven years ago. Um, other other than that, like I would just you know watch it with my family. Like you grow up watching yeah, these things, exactly. you're like, all right, you know, you just it's it's nostalgic. You're like, yeah. all right, this is cool, you know, like. But I was never really into it. Into it. Um, as far as basketball, it's a different story. I've always loved basketball, um, and baseball. Um, I really liked it. Uh, you know, in I say between ten and like I don't know between the ages of ten and like. 21 and then I just stopped caring about it it's such a long game yeah I'm just like oh. so what I'm getting at is I like I like watching like playoff baseball yeah it, the, the to world answer se- your question I like watching playoff yeah the baseball. World Series is definitely exciting and worth watching if all of baseball is that interesting I think their ratings would be able to compete with like football and stuff but mm-hmm. the normal you know summer games at noon or something you, you can watch it for an hour and come back three hours later and it's still tired it's still or going on <laughs> yeah I think that's why it's the best part about going to Wrigley is if you buy the um, rooftop seats because you don't even have to watch the game. You can just go back, grab a couple of brews, get something free to eat. And, and, see, and that's why the, everybody makes fun of those damn Cubs fans because they're not even watching the game. They're just going there to drink and party. That's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do in Wrigleyville. No, I've been to Cubs games. It's good times. So I think on that note, we're going to wrap it up for no, for this episode. We're not wrapping it up. We're not? No. What do we got? Because I still think the Bears I think are we ha- the Bears still had a bigger championship. 85 Bears. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, you know what? I get your point because the city's not divided. At that yeah. point, it's one whole city that's celebrating one whole team. But that's the same with the Blackhawks then, too. How many people were at that Blackhawks parade? See, See, but like but hockey is like a like, hockey's like a very niche sport. Yeah. At least like, in, 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 I, like, I'm not do you understand all the great, rules of hockey? Because uh, no, I, I sure I, don't. I don't. It's, I'm not saying it's not a great sport. I'm not saying it doesn't take a lot of talent. I'm just saying like it's, it has a very niche group of people that you know watch it and like I've fully never... support it. And and as a Chicagoan, when you see your team doing good, you're gonna be like, All yeah, right, you I'm support gonna, them. I'm gonna yeah. support them. And that does. I mean, in a sense, it kind of is like jumping on the bag. I, but in another sense, it's like you're supporting your city. I think it's just hard with hockey because nobody really grows up playing hockey. Everybody plays baseball most, more than likely. Everybody's played basketball in some type of league. And you've probably played football with your friends or if not, maybe like, you know, a peewee football league or for a high school. I used to play tackle football on concrete. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. like. The, and n- nobody, not everyone has access to an ice rink with hockey equipment. And everything. Yeah, maybe if you're from Schaumburg or like <laughs> some suburb. And, no offense no. to you folks. So Lake Villa or something. We, we heard your answer that you think the 85 Bears, greatest yeah. championship of all time in the city of Chicago. Yeah. What is your answer over there? I think I know what you're leaning towards with the hat on over there. 96 Bulls, dude. 96 Bulls? Yeah. Not the 98 Bulls? No, I'd say 96. I say any. I I, I, would, I say actually any '90s Bulls. I would yeah, say. yeah, yeah, '90s Bulls in general. Yeah, but my favorite team was the '96. What about you, Matt? I I think it's the Bulls, and I have to agree with you. Any any of the Bulls because so that was my best championships. All what? One, you're going all six of those championships over one Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have to Bulls. because Dude, I just I, because I, the Bulls kept going on for years. Every year, not every, was it every year. 
No, they paid three, had a year yeah, off, yeah, because Jordan probably was betting yep. out a bunch of basketball, and then they took three more. <laughs> right. That, well, that's what I'm saying. For three years in a row, the Bulls kept bringing right. a trophy tra- championship back home, and that the celebration kept continuing every single year. For me, I just remember being a kid, dude, and like watching that game, and I don't know, just the, the way I don't know, I can't even explain, it, dude. And then they win, and the celebration begins outside, everywhere in the streets. Right. Like, I just remember that's the kind of stuff I remember, and I'll I'll live the rest of my life like just kind of feeling that way and hopefully they win it again someday all right well you heard our what we thought of the chicago greatest championship of all celebration of all time let us know in the comments below what you think is the greatest if you're a chicagoan let us know what you think the greatest chicago championship of all time and if you're not from chicago you can let us know what you think is the greatest championship of all time in your city this is overdrive reality and we'll see you guys next time hold on one wait yeah yeah i'm just gonna say that chicago sports is the best sports yeah in the world. 100%. The best. Later.